You might wonder why a neuroscientist could say anything of relevance or interest to people interested in brands and food. Um, I think we can because increasingly we're aware how the environment changes people's brains and in particular the current environment which is so different from the previous century of the screen technologies where people now live in a cyber world. They're going to think and feel differently and I think what neuroscience can offer are insights into the changing individuality of people and the different needs they might have. What we're starting to see is the importance of so-called surrogate senses. So for example, especially for the food and drink industry, how can you convey that quintessential issues of taste and touch and smell when all you've got is hearing and vision? Uh, so neuroscience can start to give you some ways in which you can do that. I think neuroscience also can show the importance of what we call the cognitive aspect to the senses. You might think you just have raw senses, but actually every sense has a component that is also cognitive. That's to say relating to previous associations. And I think increasingly we can tap into those things to enhance the actual senses. We can look at tangible examples, and that's what I'm going to do in my talk, um, where one can look at different brands and see how they're touching either on trying to put a premium on raw sensation or on the combination of the senses, or on the triggers that those senses might have, the cognitive elements, or indeed, and most interestingly, on how they're trying to give people a notion of individuality.